Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is Mac OS 10.11.3. Apple updated this today, it's available to the public, and it brings a couple little changes. Now many of you that saw my other video on iOS 9.2.1 asked that I do an update for this. I asked a question and many of you suggested that I do it, so hopefully uh, you enjoy this video. If you'd like to see more though, let me know in the comments below at the end of the video. So this particular update, you can see here is version 10.11.3 for OS X or OS 10 El Capitan. And this particular update brings only a couple changes really. There's some security updates that are expected when you do these sort of updates and they do go into a couple specifics, but basically they have to do with the kernel and all sorts of other things going on uh, that actually is updated, which is always great to see security updates. Now, aside from that, the only there's only really two physical updates we might see, and one of those is it fixes an issue that may prevent some Mac computers from waking from sleep when connected to certain 4K displays. Apple doesn't say what 4K displays, they just say that certain 4K displays will now work when waking from sleep. They also updated some enterprise content, and that has to do with third-party PKG files or package file receipts, which are stored in a directory labeled var slash db slash receipts. Those are now retained when you upgrade from Mac OS 10 to OS 10 El Capitan. So those are the main updates. Now, aside from that, that's a pretty small update as far as what we see. They also updated iMovie. Now, for those of you that use iMovie, uh, this is a pretty significant update as far as a couple things that they've fixed and added basically. So one big one is for those of you that use iMovie for YouTube, they resolved an issue for YouTube sharing that could prevent sign-in for users with multiple accounts. So if you were going to file, you had something and you wanted to share, and you wanted to go to YouTube, and you had multiple accounts, this should resolve all those issues and allow you to upload your content properly. When you're editing a video and you want to adjust white balance, there was an issue that could have prevented white balance adjustments from being applied properly to clips. So if you have a clip down here and you go into color and you make some white balance adjustments, this should fix most of those issues. For those of you using Sony cameras, they fixed an issue with XAVCS content with clips recorded at 100 frames per second or 120 frames per second. They now play correctly. Previously, they were having an issue with an iMovie. They also resolved an issue that could lead to incorrect display of still images. So if you're using stills within your content, uh, sometimes they wouldn't look right. They also fixed an issue where clips are now copied when they're dragged from the project media container to the event in the library list. So if you're in here, you're moving things a lot around uh, they copy the events instead of just moving them so that's always an improvement and they also improved stability so those are some things that were really pressing I know the the YouTube bug actually affected me personally uh, when trying to upload I had some issues more so on the iPad side but I think it this resolves it overall uh, here and that should take care of that but otherwise uh, those are the particular updates that Apple released today so you've got some iMovie updates and OS 10 itself. So that's pretty much it. If you have any comments or questions, or maybe you found something that Apple didn't mention, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.